phoenixtypewriter.com here. I haven't seen this in a while, so we're going to show it on videotape. This had a couple issues, and then a, I was just trying to uh, check the type. It seemed a little uh, spotty. So I noticed uh, it was only on the top of the letters, like right here. And it was also only on the side of the roller. You can uh, slide the paper over here, the side, all the way to the edge. Go all the way to the edge with the carrier. Type it down over here. Get close. Take a look and see what's going on here. Two things we can do here. This is a Selectric 3, so there's no ABC lever up here. If there was, it needs to be an A. Turn the uh, impression to the one right there. Use your finger and hold the, uh, come down here, hold the uh, impression right here. So it's on dual impressions on the lighter setting. Hold that with your finger and then type letters here and see how see how it prints we want to get a even character and use a capital H and uh, so we're looking for an even character top to bottom and, and it looks good So, check that side, and go ahead and move to the other side here. And we'll roll this paper over here. All the way over. And, uh, same thing over here. sides of the flatten roller. So capital H, trip the impression, and look at that. It's light on the top. So there's an adjustment for that. There's an adjustment on both sides of the typewriter for that. And it's over here among all the stuff over here on the side. here and give it a look see over here so there's a bunch of screws over here and I got this machine in this was this bracket was completely off screws and the centric was off also had to adjust the index here with this eccentric to make it feed proper but what we're looking for is this eccentric in the screw right here and I noticed it's loose, the carriage is, you can move this up and down, you can see movement there. Let me see if I can get it to move. I'm going to turn this off. It's also got the bushing rattle there, see it moving up and down? And it's not supposed to move. That's the front eccentric and here's the rear eccentric and it's not supposed to move, it's pretty fixed. So I'm like, well that screw's loose or something. Well, let's take a look. And uh, So, it's loose. Oh yeah, it's a little loose. But it doesn't tighten. It's stripped. It just keeps turning. It makes a little click. Well, let's investigate. Let's back this out. Take a look. Look and see if it's stripped. See if the screw's stripped. I doubt it. The screw's pretty strong. This is just uh, some pot steel. 
So let's take a look down here a little closer. See if we can see what's up. Well, I have not seen this in a while. That's why I'm showing it. There's a crack in the frame. Right there is the weak point of the selectric frame. Right there and there. It's split right at the screw hole. And so if I lift this frame, it just separates. And that's going to separate, but also separates. Yeah, I can't get a grip of it without getting in here a little further. But as you can see, that is cracked, busted, and can't really be repaired very easily. Uh, so we're going to terminate this machine. And when I did just a little more investigation after I found that, I also took a look at this frame over here. And I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. But it's bent. The frame up here, we're, we're right about at this stud right here, right there, is bent inward. So it doesn't... It's... You can kind of see it a little bit there. So it got dropped, is my conclusion. It got dropped on the, the knob on the right side here, and it shoved the whole platen assembly that way. Bent this side frame, which is much, it's got a lot more steel over there than the other side. It's definitely bent. It's hard to see it on the camera. So this machine is terminal. I have not seen that in a while, and I'm not going to mess with it. it. That was exactly what they were com complaining about was a poor print and indexing problem, which is exactly what happens. So, that's our video of a terminal Selectric 3 today. Alright, being a step better. Good day.